Hello and welcome to yet another racket review. I'm Tennis Rally and today I will be reviewing the newest rackets from Head, which are the 2023 Radicals. Head are pretty known for uh, releasing new rackets pretty often because they have a lot of uh, models uh, available on the market uh, compared to other manufacturers uh, but they also renew the rackets every two years instead of three like uh, Babolat for example so uh, the previous version of the Radical came out in 2021 and now they have released yet another update of this racket so aside of the obvious changes uh, which are the cosmetics um, there's not a lot of difference from the previous version which tend to be the case in these changes because there's only two years apart from the from the models uh, there's not a, a whole lot that changes uh, sometimes it's uh, for the better and sometimes not so all the head models have been updated with the auxetic material so every racket now gets this update with the accepted material they go one by one so every time uh, the new model for the for the racket comes out they update with the, the new material it has been like this for uh, many years now started off with graphene graphene touch uh, graphene 360 then 360 plus uh, and now they used auxetic so now we are here with the Oxetic, just like the other head rackets I have been reviewed over the year. So the pattern we have seen with the Oxetic material is that the racket has become a little bit more softer, uh, which gives more feel, I would say, a bit more arm friendly, uh, not that crisp uh, as some rackets has been. Uh, so that can also be a downside. Uh, it's not only positive when a racket becomes more soft uh, you you lose a bit of power uh, and so on so i would say that's the main difference between the old uh, version and the new it's a bit more softer i think they have done a better job of uh, dampening the, the vibrations in the rackets i can tell when i removed my dampener i didn't feel any vibrations which i could use when uh, which I could feel when I used my uh, old Radical MP. So here we can see the specs on the screen and we start off with the MP model. We have a 98 square inch head size, 327 inches length, weight unstrung is 300 grams or 10.6 ounces, balance 320 millimeters, beam goes from 20 to 23 to 21 millimeters and we have a 16 by 19 string pattern. On the Pro model we have a 98 square inch head size which are the same. The weight is 315 grams or 11.1 ounces. Standard length balance 315 millimeters. The beam goes from 20 to 21.5 to 21 millimeters and we have a 16 by 19 string pattern. So both the Radical MP and the Pro has had the same update there's no changes in specifications uh, that i know yet uh, there might be changes in uh, stiffness and swing weight but uh, the weight and the balance uh, and the frame thickness are all the same as they used to so the pro has a little uh, thinner frame compared to the mp model which gives more control so if we take the, the CPI scale from head, which is the control power index scale, we can see that the Radical MP uh, has a 400 CPI and the Pro has a 200 CPI. So that means that the, the higher the CPI, the more power. So a Gravity MP also has 400 like the Radical MP and uh, Gravity Pro has the same as Radical Pro and so on. So that's a good scale to see different power indexes, but I wouldn't say that it's a perfect scale. Uh, for example, I would say that the Radical Pro is more powerful than a Gravity Pro. Uh, but in most cases and circumstances, they are pretty equal 
to each other. Uh, so I think that you can rely on it when you want to buy a new racket and comparing without having tested the racket in person. So is this new update something that you have to buy or can you stick with your old frames? I think it depends. If you like a more muted, dampened, softer feel, uh, I would definitely go with this new version. It's definitely still a good racket. They haven't ruined anything that was good from the beginning. They have just changed uh, the material layup slightly. The performance, I would say, is still the same when I play with my old uh, radical com with and this at the same time I didn't feel like there was a difference in, in the output but I felt a difference in feel uh, which is highly personal for me at the moment I tend to go a bit towards the more stiff and crisp feeling frame so I would stick with the previous version of the radical uh, I could definitely see myself going with the new as well it just depends on Maybe what the market looks like, what is cheaper. Now that the new racket releases, uh, the old will be for sale. Uh, which might be a chance for a lot of players to, to find a good racket for a low price. But that will be all for this racket review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any more questions, please ask me in the comments and I will answer them as fast as possible. Have a great day. Bye.